the coaches like overtime. I mean, this is nerve-wracking. The four, first 40 minutes is nerve-wracking as heck anyway. Well, as we mentioned before, it's why coaches go bald or they have gray hair if they <laughs> are fortunate enough to have hair at all. Producers, directors for that matter. Turner right-handed, high off that glass. Rebound controlled by Lauderdale. He really went banging in hard. Well, and Ohio State went right back to that down tight, under the basket area screening down low. Hill jumps in, feeds Lauderdale for the stop. His first basket of the game. Well, great penetration into the jaws of Purdue's defense, but then the nice two-foot jump stop or throw off and the shovel pass to Lauderdale. Yeah, the Boilermakers with a couple of giant plays in the final seconds, but not on the last shot where they had a chance to put the game away and win it. Well, they waited so long to get organized in their zone attack. Purdue down low to Johnson and the buttery touch. Bottoms of the net for Jawan Johnson. 6'10", Dave. Keep in mind, the touch for a player that size is unique. Career high 24 for Jawan Johnson. You know, Johnson wisely has not put the ball down in traffic. He catches and gets right into that shot. Turner, a little bounce there, and he'll draw that foul. But last three foul shots. <laughs> Makes the pair, Ohio State up 68-66. Against this zone, Purdue would like to get the ball right in there. That's the heart or the gut of the defense. Jackson on a baseline pass. Here's Grant. Shot clock down to seven. Grant straight on. That clangs away. Lauderdale high up for the rebound. Well, Lauderdale did climb the ladder for that rebound. Ohio State at 58% shooting. No one has been close to 50% in a game against the Boilermakers. Diebler airborne. Oh, that one's going to roll in for him. A great mid-air double clutch hesitation was trying to draw the contact. Still with the concentration, keep the eyes on the rim and finish. You expect the threes from him, not the acrobatic shot, but it dropped. Well, the threat of the shot opens up the penetration game. Johnson on the catch, but he's tied up by Lauderdale who commits the foul. Act in there, he really hung in. Diebler did the finish. Aiden, he's come out. He's had to ride a stationary bike to stay loose. Well, it's a real dilemma. Can't practice tonight. Could not play. So as Purdue moves forward, they're going to have to learn to be successful without Robbie Hummel's services. Boilermakers, tops in the country. And in terms of field goal defense at 36%, but Turner and company has eaten them up tonight. Here's Hill around and out. So the Boilermakers get a much needed stop here in overtime. Under two minutes. Well, not the shot that Mata would have preferred to have out of Hill. Maybe put that on the deck and try and create. There's enough time on the clock for him to get a shot for one of his teammates. Ran off the fake. Jackson lifts. Off the back of the iron. Battle for the rebound, and the Purdue Boilermakers really fighting for it. Johnson and company get it in. Over the top for Johnson. Surprised Purdue has not entered the ball into the high post area. See a screen there by Kramer trying to distort this zone. Good. Johnson, a lot of pushing and shoving there underneath, and in fact, he commits the foul. Eight. Tough to see there whether or not Johnson had the pivot foot established. Turner down the lane, a power move! Well, once again, the ability to use the bounce and just blow by Purdue Boilermaker defenders on the perimeter and then slow rotation to help as well. He has 24, under a minute in overtime. Moore straight on. Turner there for the rebound. Second effort, hauls it in. A four-point lead. They've got numbers ahead. It's Buford to flush it. Well, that kind of night 
for the Boilermakers. Defensively, short leg and caught napping and just not picking up the puppies. Time running out on the Boilermakers. Grant Lauderdale there with the block and the whistle. And Ohio State shooting around 60% is Grant. Sometimes you need a loss like this to go back to the basics, get your hard edge. Another miss by Grant comes up empty from the charity stripe. Turner tied up. He's hacked and fouled with of both point blank range shots, shots in transition. It's a preseason Big Ten Player of the Year pick. It's someone with versatility at 6'8 that can help you on the boards. And also a leader who plays with great pride. Jackson He's one hands it up there, Turner with a rebound. But keep in mind as we see Deaver on the run out. Off the rim, the give up to Mullins, the cheap P.J. Mullins catches one off the rims. I was going to say, keep in mind, Dave, Lighty has been out for Ohio State as well, so they're both down key players. Johnson with a dunk on the other end and a timeout with 14.7 to go in overtime. Rest of your game as soon as we finish up. As the Buckeyes are trying to put the finishing touches on an impressive win here this evening. They've been in the Big Ten. And he'll have more chances for it. But Buford with there tonight of point blank range shots and dunks. Mullins with 17. He's also pulled down eight rebounds. The feed for Johnson. He'll draw the foul. Knight was lights out. A plus across the board. We had a first class four and championship game experience with this crew uh, and as a coach when you look out and you see a good officiating crew you can exhale take a deep breath and just focus on coaching the game and not have to keep one eye on a bad official final seconds of overtime inbounded to Turner he's fouled by Kramer yeah, that's part of being young living on snicker bars and coke <laughs> <laughs> as Turner is off the back ask at last he's gonna have to get used to that in and out by Turner but here in overtime, the Ohio State Buckeyes have defeated Purdue in the only game in the Big Ten tonight, and it turned out to be a dandy.